Welcome to the Cricket Happening Show, dear fans, friends and subscribers. This is your host Ram, welcoming you once again. Well, in this particular cricket show, we are going to look at the Sri Lankan Premier League, where rain was the one which was uh, actually reduced the number of overs. So first, let's take a look at what is happening there uh, in the Sri Lankan Premier League. They played at the R. Premadasa Stadium here in Colombo, where Uttara Rudras were clashing with Ruhuna Royals. Uttara Rudras won the toss and they put the uh, Ruhuna Royals to bat. And Ruhuna Royals, uh, due to the rain stopping play, they finished with 145 for 3 of 16 overs. So uh, Uttara Rudras, because of the rain, uh, it would be a Duckworth Lewis probably, their, their revised target is 154 runs from 16 overs. So they need to go at a clip uh, of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, from uh, I mean, right now they have just started the innings. Uh, just uh, a single uh, ball, two balls have been bowled by Lasit Malinga. We'll come to that. I'll give you some commentary if possible. Well, Runa Royals were the ones who batted first, and Runa Royals, well, the openers gave them a magnificent start. Uh, in fact, uh, in 11 overs, they had raised 97 for the first wicket. Aaron Finch uh, played superbly, making 65 of 48 balls with six fours and two sixes. Uh, then Rupa Singhe gave him good company. Uh, making a 50 of 35 balls, 5 fours and 2 sixes. So basically, uh, that's what Runa Royals really set up. This opening partnership did a lot for them, but uh, it, was a, uh, it was a shame that the uh, rain had to come and the players had to troop off. So Chamra Silva was run out of 19 of 14 balls, 2 fours. Afridi, uh, well, probably the, the public would have really loved to see the dasher shy, the Afridi unwieldy strokes but unfortunately uh, it was not to be uh, so probably better day uh, probably the day is going to come when Shahid Afridi uh, will be showing uh, his uh, wares uh, to the Sri Lankan public but Shahid Afridi unfortunately it will remain not out or not when because of rain uh, the, the match um, had to end there 145 for 3 of 16 overs the Runa Royals uh, Kyle Mills 3 overs 1 for 34 3 overs for 19 for Gunnar Ratne Cooper Ball 3 overs no made and none for 29 Muralitharan, 4 overs, 1 for 31. Mubarak, ball 2 overs, 1 for 15. And Piris, ball 1 over for 14. Currently, Lasit Malinga is there and there's a wicket gone. The first wicket has been taken. In fact, uh, as I said, uh, Uttara Rudras have been set uh, a target uh, of uh, 154 uh, to win uh, in 16 overs. And what I see here is that uh, there is a wicket. There is a wicket which was gone. And Lasit Malinga has given the breakthrough. In fact, he has uh, dismissed the very, very uh, powerful Imran Farhat. The other day, you know, Imran Farhat smashed a lot of runs. So that is something that they will take here. Lasit Malinga uh, pitching the ball full up and was a real toe crusher. As Imran Farhat couldn't have any answer to this Yorker, which went past his bat and his defense into the stump she goes. And it was all over for Imran Farhat. So Imran Farhat is very, very... Um, you know, very, very disconsolately walking back to the pavilion out for a blob here, LBW Bowl Malinga. And right now, Mahela Yudhavate is, go is joined by Brendan Taylor. And Brendan Taylor has immediately uh, started, in fact, he has hit a boundary of the bowling of Malinga. So the score for Uttaradras chasing 154 uh, to win the revised target in a span of 13, uh, 15 overs. 16 overs, sorry. Uh, they are 5 for 1 currently. Lasit Malinga has given them the breakthrough. Uh, Brendan Taylor and Mahela Udubati at the crease. Uh, Brendan Taylor just stroked the very good boundary of the bowling of Malinga. The score stands at 5 for 1. Brendan Taylor is not out on 4. Mahela Udubati is yet to score, uh, yet to open his, uh, open his account. So I'll try to see if I could give some commentary in between. Uh, but uh, right now, some other news I will uh, try to talk about. Yesterday, uh, India in the Under 19 World Cup uh, had a win over uh, Zimbabwe uh, where uh, uh, there was a passy the baller who took uh, six wickets and uh, there were also today the matches which are coming in the under 19 world cup are Afghan Afghanistan under 19 versus Scotland under 19 Ireland under 19 versus Nepal under 19 and Sri Lanka versus South Africa under 19 now the other match that I will look at uh, while I give the commentary here and this particular four uh, was not a good ball from Alasit Malinga as it was a knee high full toss uh, dispatched uh, very, very disdainfully by Brendan Taylor through mid wicket for a boundary. So, right now, uh, I'm going to look at some uh, other scores here. Uh, that, is, that would be the Australia uh, match. As you know, the, uh, the first day's play uh, in this uh, tour game, the Australia a Tour of England, and I've looked at the scorecard uh, day one. Uh, the scorecard looks like this Australia made 308 for 9, 
Um, the batsman who played well, Ed Coven, uh, the captain made 73, 7 fours and 1, 6, 24 from Liam Davis. Uh, Phil Hughes would be happy uh, for his 51 that he made with 11 boundaries, 29 coming from Burns, 59 from uh, Tim Payne, the wicketkeeper, uh, with 4 and 1, 6, and 308 for 9 on the board. Uh, Nathan Lyon and Bird at the crease right now, 15 and 4 respectively. Uh, bowling figures, uh, Harris was absolutely superb. He was swarming over the Australians, 23 overs, 4 maidens, 102 runs and 6 wickets. He bowled splendidly and other than that, uh, 6 wickets went to him and the other 3 wickets were captured by the uh, spinner, Treadwell, 19 over 7 maidens, 35 runs and 3 wickets. So I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties, but let me see whether I can give you some cricket commentary. Uh, I need to really you know, get ready for my office right now, but uh, well, I'm trying my best to go as far. Probably this will be a very, very short report. I don't have much time, dear fans. Unfortunately, I would have loved to give this cricket commentary as uh, the score right now stands uh, for the Uttarakhand chasing 154 to win in 16 overs. The score stands at 8 for 1. The bowler right now is Jerome Taylor from the West Indies. Brendan Taylor has moved on to 6 with 1 boundary. Mahel Oduvate is at the crease on 1. My, uh, in fact, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think I'll be able to uh, really go on. I will have to end up my cricket show for today. It's a very short cricket show, unfortunately. Uh, sorry about that, uh, dear fans. Uh, due to paucity of time, I wouldn't be able to go the distance. Thanks for your company and thanks for watching Cricket Happenings. Your host Ram will be once again there tomorrow uh, to give you, uh, bring you this Cricket Happening show. But unfortunately today, uh, due to paucity of time, I will have to end my report right now. So Uttara has just moved on the score now to 12 for 1. Brendan Taylor has uh, actually uh, smacked the second boundary here. Now this time uh, the bowler to suffer is Jerome Taylor. So Brendan Taylor is looking in good neck. He has already had 11 runs of 7 balls with 2 fours, and um, basically this was a shot which was uh, put over the slips by Brendan Taylor for 4. Uh, so it, it went over the slips for, for a boundary. So currently the score stands at 13 for 1. That's it from me, your host Ram, for the cricket show for today. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.